let's see the next one which is inconsistent security controls this lab's flawed logic allows arbitrary users to access administrative functionality hmm this seems to be like a privilege escalation in web application okay that should only be available to company employees to solve the lab access the admin panel and delete the user carlos let's see the logic behind it and we'll see what happens okay uh, we do not have any user okay so they did not give any user but we know that carlos exists but we cannot do anything with it so let's register to an account and uh, we have to register using a certain email right if you work for don't wanna cry please use don't wanna cry domain email address hmm interesting so let's see this email client okay so what does it say okay so it says your email address is this one okay displaying all emails with uh, this domain okay and all subdomains so what we can do is we can take this one or you can take this one whichever it doesn't matter okay so let's create something like uh, hm cyber academy one or or just keep hm cyber academy okay it doesn't matter so here you're going to keep that domain and keep anything in the beginning okay so you can keep something like this okay so you can keep password like ASTF anything else okay so let's register and create an account okay please check your emails for your account registration link okay so to create an account it needs an email okay it is mandatory to create an account okay so we must have an email so let's reload this and we do have a link with a token okay this is a good security control right so we'll see let's hit enter so it says account registration successful which means i can log in right so i'll go to my account i'll go to hm cyber academy and i'll give astf as password and just log in okay so i'm able to log in this is a good security control like you must have an email or something like that to create an account but what if I can change the email later okay so here it is an update email functionality so you can change the email to something else it should also require email verification okay so an email has to be sent to this server and then we need to confirm it but if it is not checking for the new email then we can keep any email we want okay so let's keep ASTF and uh, right let's keep this domain because when we keep this domain and we were able to successfully update our email without any verification then it is like we work for don't wanna cry company okay so let's use that let's keep anything at the rate uh, this one okay don't wanna cry dot com and let's see if uh, it really changes the email okay so and keep an eye here if we were able to successfully update our email we will see additional functionality here okay so let's update the email and as you can see we see an admin panel here and our email has been changed so this is how you escalate your privileges if there are inconsistent security controls okay so let's go to admin panel and delete carlos I hope you get it and I'll see you guys in the next one.